case, he or governor. Um, he's not my congressman, um, but I've actually considered moving 50 miles west from South Boston to Worcester just so that I could say he is my congressman because he is has been a champion and a hero to home care almost since the day he got elected to Congress in the wake of the Balanced Budget Act of 1997. Um, you've heard today and you heard yesterday what Congressman is, McGovern is doing in this Congress to help us with the case mix issues and I'd just like to call him up here and thank him for what he does. Jim McGovern. Very much, and I want to thank Pat Kelleher, and I want to thank all my friends from Massachusetts for being here because they have—they're uh, not only great advocates, uh, but they have been great teachers for me. And um, without them, I wouldn't be here today. Without them, I wouldn't be introducing legislation with Walter Jones to uh, to uh, to make the process of payment decisions more transparent, um, and make sure that you all have a seat at the table as some of these decisions are being made. So I have had great teachers. But I want to thank you all for being here. And I can't express strongly enough how grateful I am, how grateful Allison is um, and Walter is for you being here. Uh, you all have lives. You have families. You have jobs. Uh, and you took the time to come here to try to get this health care system working in the exactly the, the right way. And uh, I appreciate that because I know what's behind it all is your dedication to the people that you treat, to the patients that you care for. And so it is really inspiring that so many of you have come here today. As everybody has said, you know, nothing happens here in Congress without a little push. Uh, the fact is we are inundated with 10 million issues a week. And unless you are here, and unless you are in the face of your member of, of Congress, respectfully, but in their face, you know, chances are nothing is going to happen. We have made an incredible advancement with this health care reform legislation. I am very proud that I was able to vote for it. But it is not everything I wanted, and it's not everything you wanted either. It's a good foundation. It's like building a house. you got to have a good foundation, and then you build on top of it. So we have the foundation. We're going to have to make sure it's implemented properly, but we're going to have to build on top of it. And that's our job. So the issue of health care reform has not ended. In many respects, it has just begun with this historic passage of the legislation a few weeks back. But you need to be at, that, at the table. You need to have a seat at the table because what you do uh, is so incredibly important. Uh, it not only provides the kind of care we want people to have when they have chronic illnesses or when they need hospice care, so they can be home with their families, with their loved ones in familiar settings. But as Allison said, it also saves some money. So you get the best of both worlds. So we need to make sure we get this right. We need to make sure we get the reimbursement right. We need to, meet, we need to make sure as CMS, that the wonderful agency that we love so much, makes these decisions that all the stakeholders are at the table, that they actually know what the hell they're doing. So we don't have to come back and fix it over and over again. So it is important that you are here. I appreciate very much that you are here. Um, it will be, it is noticed that you are here. Um, we're all gonna go have, a, 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 we're gonna have some votes in a few minutes and so we're gonna all talk to our colleagues about all the things that you have talked to us about. But um, we are making progress. Uh, and you know, one of the frustrating things about Washington is sometimes progress doesn't happen instantly. Uh, it takes time. Sometimes we do things, we mess things up, we have to go back and fix them. But it takes time. And you know, I've been coming to these gatherings for years now. Uh, and you have had incredible patience, but you have had incredible dedication. And understand one thing, uh, your visit here makes a difference. Uh, and it makes a real difference. It's going to help us rally people around some of the issues that we all, all you all care about. And I think we're going to actually move in the direction that you want us to move in and that your patients want us to move in. So I want to thank you again for being here. Um, this is a great group. And again, I, I th let me just say one thing about the Massachusetts people, and I know there's people from all over the country, but I really love the Massachusetts people because, um, I mean, they, I've been on, I'm in a home care business with them. I've been to see hospice uh, care visits with them. I mean, I've seen firsthand uh, the work that is done. And one of the things that I admire so much 
is how lovingly and, um, and with such care and compassion that you uh, do your job. And, um, and that's what I would want for my loved one, is to be in the care of someone like you if they need that kind of care. And that's the highest compliment I can pay you. So thank you and look forward to continuing working with you. All the best.